like force feeding prisoners other prisoners? Do you like toxic fallout giving all of your livestock dementia? Do you like replacing your family members bit by bit with wooden prosthetics in place of all their vital organs? Then you will love RimWorld! RimWorld, where cannibalism meets knitting. Perfect for both Grandma and Jeffrey Dahmer. A game where minor inconvenience can determine the difference between a person passing out and vomiting on themselves or bludgeoning their spouse. In a typical RimWorld game, you control the fates of three crash-landed colonists, all with their own randomly generated skill set. Like Francis, who is incapable of skilled labor, dumb labor, medicine, and violence. But hey, at least he can keep the home clean. Oh wait, no he can't do that either. Thankfully he has an extra kidney, and an extra lung. He wasn't using those anyways. Well, at least you have Barry. He was once a great chef. Oh wait, he's a cannibal. Well, at least he was once a great chef. Okay, well, we're still left with Nancy. She is moderately skilled in several different fields. She has a passion for all the useful skills, and she gets along with everyone. But she's 95, and she has the slowpoke trait. And then her legs got torn off by a manhunting pack of Yorkies, and were replaced with peg legs. Well, it looks like she's going to be enjoying an eternity in a cryo casket. That is until we find someone who can extract her organs, because it will be fairly hard to convince our only doctor to harvest her own organs. But now that we have these three fools, I am sure you are naively thinking, how will I manage to keep them alive? <laughs> well, you're asking the wrong question. What you should be asking is, how do I prolong their sorrow? Well, I'm glad you asked. I mean, I myself am still trying to figure that one out, but I'll give you a few tips that I learned along the way. Assuming you have a functioning brain inside that melon skull of yours, you probably chose to land in a place where human life is sustainable, even at a bare minimum, like a temperate grassland, boreal forest, or even a jungle. Unlike the sea ice biome, where the closest thing to sustainability is the occasional tribal raider that drops by. But now that you are in a reasonable environment, you can begin to worry about mundane things like where am I going to get food? And what's this manhunting pack of iguanas doing at my door? And why do all of my colonists have the extreme break risk status? Well, you're getting ahead of yourself. We can't fix any of those problems now. And probably not later on either. Now first things first, let's start making some food. For food, you have several different options. 1. Grow a garden of vegetables. 2. Go hunting. 3. Wait for raiders to drop by and butcher and eat their flesh. 4. Train with other colonies. 5. Butcher your dog. 6. Eat the mystery paste of the day. While you're trying to maintain the basic needs of your colonists, you're going to have a few more issues on your hands. Surprisingly, despite you not having anything of value, raiders will still try and raid you. Now this will usually start with a single naked tribal man, who is in a worse state than you, attacking with maybe a club. But soon enough, these raiding tribes will learn that maybe they shouldn't send a 95 year old man completely nude. And then, soon enough, these raiding parties will start to grow. Raid after raid will start to wear down on your colonists, as permanent damage builds up. Of course, they will survive with their scar-covered body, three missing fingers, and a constant state of mind-shattering pain. And they will gradually become more useless. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable. And there's no way to fix it. Well, except for... A certain thing that rhymes with Luciferium. Uh, oh wait, fuck. Uh, Luciferium is a really great thing to have. 
It can be pretty easy to acquire at the start of the game by exploring hidden caves on the map. By administering it to your ravaged survivors for a couple of days, they will feel as good as new. You see, they even become way more productive. You now have an army of superhumans and are ready to conquer the world. Wait, what's happening? That's weird. Where did all that Luciferium go? I guess giving it to all of our colonists really goes through it quick. Wait, why are they all falling unconscious and why does it say Luciferium Dependency? External things like arms, legs, and eyes are all pretty expendable on this rim world. If you get lucky and happen to find a bionic appendage with increased stats just lying around inside a cryopod for some reason, well then you can now replace your colonists arms with new bionic upgrades. But why stop there? Are they in absolute agony because of scars and diseases they got from your reckless command? A pain stopper will fix that lickety split. Are they whining because you took all of their organs out of their lover and slowly killed them painfully with luciferium? A joy wire will fix that. What's this I hear? They lost their mind from the stress and turned to abusive drinking until their liver began to fail? Well, conveniently, their loved one is the same blood type, and her liver is lying around doing nothing. Might as well make their attachment permanent. What's this? They got an infection from the operation. Yeah, we can't fix that, they're gonna die. I hope the infection isn't in their vital organs. So now that I've taught you how to survive, I'm going to teach you how to thrive. The Art of Utilizing the Human Resource This playstyle is ingrained in the essence of the entire game. RimWorld encourages you to follow this route, as Tyne and Sylvester slowly alters your subconscious by encouraging you to break the Articles of the Geneva Convention. Occasionally, colonists will appear who still hold true to God's image of man. The Cannibals The class of man known as the Recycler. You have a dying prisoner? Well, not only can we butcher and eat them, but we can also use their skin to make an armchair. Now that you've followed this guide, let's see how you're doing. Wow, it seems like you're actually doing decently. You have a self-sufficient colony with sprawling farms and a production cycle of all the necessary goods. Wait, what's this? Looks like you're getting raided by four different parties. Also, half of your colony just got the plague. And you have an extreme psychic drone. And a pack of manhunting cougars are trampling down your front door. Welcome to RimWorld, where hours of your life are thrown away thanks to the unlucky hand of Randy. Pure chance teetered your colony on the brink of annihilation, and now your luck has run out. Look with me, and you will see a magic world in which you'll be free. The cube is right for its little past So come on, babe, and trip with me